Okay, here we go again. We're in Puerto Vallarta with the king himself. Eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman, is in town again to do his stem cell therapy. So this is the second time we're going to be hitting him. First time is a big success. I'll leave the uh, update till the end of the video. If you guys want to keep watching, you can see where we were and where we're at now. But uh, the king's just getting in. We're going to get him squared away and into his hotel. And we're going to get his treatment kicked off here as soon as possible. We're going to show you all about it. We're going to show you in the clinic. We're going to put a little bit of high-speed science past you so you can see where the stem cells come from and our little microscope demonstrations and all of it. So check us out. Look, we're already almost at Vedanta. So just a little information for you. When people come down to do our programs, we add some more value um, by putting you in this high-speed resort as part of it. All right, here we are bright and early at Ronnie Coleman's hotel room at the Vedanta Resorts. They gave him a pretty nice one. It's gigantic. Uh, we're, uh, you know, we're going to run some labs. We're getting the sample. And we do that on everybody that comes to the doors. We're going to do kidney, liver, prostate, uh, get our preliminary cancer screens. Also get those hormones, the testosterone and the HGH that scores. That big of a room they gave Mr. Coleman. Look at the roof on this place. <laughs> Well. Yeah, check out the face on Coleman. He ain't happy with that needle in his arm. Yeah, buddy. Nobody likes a needle. <laughs> okay, so before Ronnie Coleman gets going on his treatment day, I want to show you guys a little glimpse into the lab, all right? We have a, a demonstration put on, a little talk-through, walk-through by the material scientist, quality control officer, Maria, and I'm going to leave it up to her to show you the insides and out. Hello, my name is Mariana Orozco. I did my grad studies at CMSTAP in CDMX, Mexico City, and I did some research in Australia and Europe too. So here in, we are here in CV Cells, and I am the chief of the quality control area. And what we do is to assess and evaluate the cells and synchromal stem cells that we produce in the lab to make sure that they are completely safe to apply in the patients. This is the lab of quality control. In this space, we do the cell count and the flow cytometry of the mesenchymal stem cells. This way, we make sure that the mesenchymal stem cells comply with the, all of the characteristics that they should have, that they're not contaminated, that they're not gonna have any disease, and also they're not gonna have any reaction or rejection in the patient. So this way, we make sure that these cells that we're going to donate for you, Ronnie Coleman, are completely safe for your therapy. So the whole team of the CD cells, we wish you well. This is the lab, the production of the mesenchymal stem cells. So as you can see, we have in this room that is completely sterile, the cell culture of these cells in the incubators and well, the team they're working and processing the cells and the doses. And here we go. So we're uh, about to do the second wave of Ronnie Coleman's uh, stem cell therapy. And uh, you know, we're gonna be up in the treatment beds any minute here. <clears throat> and it's time for the king to get all the good things coming to him. It looks like, you know, like aloe vera water. You ever have aloe vera mm -hmm. water? You yeah. see those little translucent spaceships in there? Mm -hmm. you, you get little glimpses of that with these. 
Yeah, I'm starting to see them circulating in there now. But like I said, we'll save the like microscopic droplets. And tomorrow, or actually a little bit later today, I'm going to be with the uh, the next group. Mm -hmm. And I'll put this under a microscope, the droplets. Yeah. And I'll show you like countless amounts of stem okay. cells. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, again, the quality control certificate. Okay. So it says the first part. It's about the viability of the sample. Yeah. Or the strain of the stem cells. It said the first 24 hours, we got more than 99%. Yeah. That's, that's a very powerful stem cells. <laughs> so we are on the, on the time. The second one is about the uh, flow cytometry. It's mm -hmm. uh, to make sure there are stem cells and for human use, and they're gonna improve your symptoms. Okay. So we have the first uh, four markers. It's about the uh, or approve the R stem cells. Okay, yeah, so okay. we say stem cells. The third part is about the cancer uh, test. Mm -hmm. Is to make sure that this not gonna cause you some uh, disease or cancer. Mm -hmm. These are free or cancer free okay. stem cells. And the last one is a micro. Is to make sure that they don't have bacteria, fungus, or uh, any kind of microbial. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's it. Just to add a little bit to what Dr. Oliver said, so when you do the characterization with the flow cytometer, right. that ends up being the naked truth to prove the stem cells. Yippers. Okay. How you feel, buddy? Oh, good. Good? Okay. Okay, this is what an IV push of stem cell looks like. There's 300 million going into Ronnie Coleman. I'm not going to show every IV push because it, you know, see how slow he's pushing it there? It'll take a little while. It's a little bit redundant for the tape. But I assure you, Ronnie Coleman has gotten 300 million stem cells and 5 billion exosomes as a booster, and they're going to work in his body right now. Let me charge the exosomes. Stop and go. This doesn't cause any symptoms or anything. They're just a booster, no? Yeah. It's to improve the functions of team cells. Are you feeling running? No, oh, good. Excellent. Gosh, 300 million is an awful lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we just summed up Ronnie's second wave there. We put 300 million stem cells into a IV. We also added 5 billion exosomes for good measure. And as you can see here, we like to take the labels off the cell products that we use and put them on your body map so you can have something to you know look at later when you're wondering, what did I put in myself? A few things left to do. I'm going to go over to the microscope. And I'm going to show you guys the uh, remnants of the leftovers of the bottles there. There's some droplets. We're going to put them under the slide. I'm going to show you countless amounts of stem cells under the high-powered microscope. Hey, everybody. So we just got back to the Regenomex clinic. Uh, we just got done doing Ron Coleman stem cells. So we have a high-speed microscope here where we'd like to do demonstrations, right? Where I can show you um, that there's countless amounts of stem cells left in the remnants, like the droplets of the bottles. But we, you know, we put those on this. Let me show you what's going on here. So this is, these are the, this is the leftovers of Ronnie Coleman's, you know, he's 300 million in there. So like, let me give you an example here. Here's a bottle. Can you see the little the remnants in there, guys? Just like a you know, little droplet. So we already opened up one. I think it's, yeah, it's over here. See this? Dr. Oliver took one of these <laughs> and he put it on the slide just a minute ago. It takes a minute to zero it in. So, you know, we got it to the point, but there's, you know, it's just the smallest amount of liquid and you can start to see uncountable amounts of, of cells in the slide, right? You keep moving around a little bit just so you can see like, Potentially, like like different parts have so much more. What about over over this one? Does it? Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, there's just mm -hmm. there's cells everywhere mm -hmm. basically, and it's just like a little droplet from this. So like, when we say there's hundreds of millions, there's hundreds of millions, guys. Okay, and it's backed up with these tests here too. 
like we get these this these types of printouts from the lab and they do cell counts and everything as well. Mm -hmm. It's like it's 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 checked a few different ways, but I'm not gonna put them in. Anyway, lots and lots of cells there, guys. All right. <laughs> so if you ever go to a place to try to get your stem cells and you're wondering like, are these stem cells or not? You know, maybe ask them if they'll um, give you some peace of mind and put it under the microscope. You can actually see with your eyes that you're not injecting water. Okay, it's one of the nice features that we uh, provide for the people that come through the doors at Regenimex. All right, adios. Here's a glimpse of what the cells will look like inside the lab under a microscope inside the culture medium. Hello, Danny. Here we are where the stem cells come from. Right now I'm going to the microscope and I will show you the stem cells. Okay guys, so the way that the stem cells are gonna look under the microscope here is the exact same way that they would look inside of your body if you could get a microscope in there somehow to check them out. When the cells are in the saline solution, they will not look like this, right? This is exactly how they would look uh, if they were, you know, in your body or in the culture medium at the lab, uh, when they're able to give off their cytoplasmic properties. Okay, so have a look at that. I'm sitting here with eight time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman, and uh, I just want to give a little update because he came down here three months ago approximately to do stem cells with us. And, um, you know, Ronnie's had a lot of surgeries and he's got some issues, to say the least, right? With mm -hmm. the back and the yeah. hips. And, um, well, you know, quite frankly, he deserves all the help possible because of, you know, what he's accomplished mm -hmm. in his life as far as I'm concerned. So it's been an honor to get to work with him. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. well, I just want Ronnie to give you a, you know, a little update from where he's been to where, where we are now. Yeah. Well, first time I came out here was in February. Uh, I was having some major pain problems. Uh, mostly in my back, you know, uh, I also have uh, a little hip and, and a little neck and I have a herniated disc in my upper back. Uh, I was having major, major pain issues up there. Uh, after I did the uh, one in February, the herniated disc in my upper back where all the pain was cut, where I was getting all the pain, that almost completely went away, you know, it just comes and goes from time to time now. Uh, the one in my lower back, I most completely uh, dissipated also. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, this next one we just did completely takes the pain away. But the uh, most important thing I think I really noticed was uh, I was able to eat a little bit more food to increase my appetite. I think uh, because I was able to <coughs> work out a little bit harder, my appetite increased. So they put on a few more pounds. Yeah, I put on the best size. <laughs> 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 yeah, I put that. on about, uh, 20 pounds, I was like, uh, last time I was there, I was to like 250, I'm like 270 now. <laughs> I was eating uh, four meals a day uh, after the uh, treatment, I was able to eat five meals a day, that's where the 20 pounds came from, and also work out a little bit, hard, a little, little bit harder. So uh, I, I've noticed uh, quite a bit going on that uh, I didn't know, I didn't have going on before the uh, uh, stem cell treatment. Outstanding, yeah, that's well, that's wonderful. The stem cells are controlling the inflammation, that yeah. is like the chief function. We're also hoping for some nerve regeneration, right? Ronnie's got a lot of nerve yeah, pain yeah. in that. So that's, those, that's a slower process, but we're gonna have, you know, we got a little bit of runway here. We're gonna keep treating them. We're gonna keep making gains. And uh, if it's something you're interested, you guys can get a hold of me and um, we'll, we'll, we'll square you guys away as well. It's not just for superstar athletes, right? This, this, <laughs> yeah. this is an emerging medicine that needs to be taken seriously because they're powerful tools. So anyway, Ronnie, thanks a lot for having me, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Holy cow, what a good go it is getting to positively impact anybody's lives, never mind a living legend. Until next time, guys, this is Danny G from Regenimex. I want to wish everybody a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Adios.